voice my my, um, my opposition to the project as a whole. And I, I think one of the things of, of concern that I think would help us to clarify as we whether whether we look at this project or look at projects in the future, I think one of the tracks that were that we have discussed, and I, I think it would have been helpful for this one as well as if a interested party would during a session or a committee or something to that effect come before us and actually talk discuss what what some of the ramifications or some of the um, um, in what, what the layout of the project would look like um, it's not something that um, you know I, I know the details of in terms of from a intimate and personal standpoint from my energy um, so I think that that would be helpful structurally uh, not limited to my energy in the future um, in the event that we go forth and do projects um, and uh, whether it, we, 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 we take care of a lot of business and we don't always need um, to have committee meetings so at times we do have ad hoc committee meetings or ad hoc uh, study sessions and things of that nature um, but uh, as the Gary representative I know that there are other better projects that are out there that could go in this particular area, whether it's whether it's uh, whether it was previously zoned as commercial uh, for this type of a um, entity, or whether it is being rezoned for whether it has to be rezoned for this type of a of a business entity. Um, but this is not a uh, this is not a plausible uh, project for. Um, us in this particular region. I, I know I've seen these type of projects in other places. I, I think if you ride past, uh, what is that, Route, uh, route 18 or 24 or 16, um, on the stretch between 65 and 41, you'll see something probably a little similar, but uh, this is in a, a much more non-secluded, uh, close residential area and it's it's not a uh, a preference for a project in that particular area, um, and and so I wanted to make sure that I express my my uh, my my where I stand with that as a uh, Gary resident, as well as as a uh, uh, taxpaying constituent and a member of the commission. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Anybody else? Yes, uh, I'd like to respond to um, Commissioner um, Levon Whitaker's uh, comments. Uh, I stand in favor of uh, the uh, my proposition for mere fact because it's going to bring jobs to the city of Gary. Oh. 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 Hey, Joe, finish, please. And then the fact that it's going to bring over ten thousand to fifteen thousand dollars a month to the city of Gary that so so surely that is needed for a lot of the operations that it has. And I see that now as a general contractor, you know, uh, I, you know, I've worked in the uh, Lake County and, and at the Lake County jails, and um, and I'm tired of seeing the young African Americans and Latinos in jail because they can't find a job and to support their family, so they have to go out there and do criminal things and they get caught. The other thing I'm tired of is just in, just today in my office. Uh, I had a young couple between the ages, and they might be between 18, maybe 23 years old, came to my office asking not only for a job, but they wanted to know if I could buy a TV set from them because they can't find a job to live in the city of Gary, and they have to move. I'm tired of seeing people in my community that don't, don't have jobs and opportunities. Maybe they may not have the skills or whatever, but this particular particular uh, project would give them that opportunity. It's just not only, it, and for the mere fact, this particular project is, is going to be a pristine. It's not going to be a hazardous waste. Oh, yes, it it's is. Not, uh, let me finish. It's not going to be a hazardous waste project. It's going to be, a, it's a lot of technology involved, We're recycling. It's going to save the city a lot of money and a lot of opportunity. And I'm also a resident of the city of Gary and a taxpayer, too. So I'm supporting this because I definitely see the future for us 
where that's going to help us get going. I don't see any great projects coming to the city of Gary, and we're losing we're, right now. We're losing uh, employment. We're, we're we're losing people. Our, our stores are closing down. I mean, banks are are leaving us. I mean, we need we need uh, opportunities, and we we need uh, uh, commercial opportunities, and uh, that's going to support our city and the community that we live in. That's my position. Thank you. Uh, on anyone else? Uh, Mr. Chair, yeah. um, and, and um, not, not necessarily in, in response to uh, uh, Commissioner Castellanos, but uh, because by uh, Robert Rules of Order, we, we have to address the chair, but just um, in addition to what I said earlier, um, you know, when I, when I, when I left uh, working at um, U.S. Steel, making very good, making a very good living and living in Gary at that time. Um, I set up an office inside of Gary Neighborhood Services and um, anybody know that that area is uh, what's considered Midtown. And so uh, there's a WIC office inside of there where, you know, the young uh, mothers come in and get their assistance for uh, women and children in, in, in need. Uh, so there's a lot of public service offices inside of the building as well as um, a lot of uh, youth and adult services uh, inside of that facility. Um, so, and everything, including energy assistance, uh, NIFSCO energy assistance. So, uh, I, I had the opportunity to work with and see a, a, a multifaceted group of people, um, black, white, Latin, um, you name it, and come through that facility. And, and I too, as, Mr., as uh, Commissioner Castellanos stated, I too would see a number of underprivileged uh, folks and uh, one of the grants that we had was a fatherhood grant that served over 450 people and um, we, we went inside Westville Prison and Michigan City Prison and, and I just visited someone in there two weeks ago on a Saturday for about three and a half hours. So um, I, I too know the ramifications of high unemployment. Um, of African Americans, and we were also at the Kimbrough Center as well in Crown Point. So I too know the sentiments of, of uh, high unemployment and all of the implications that come along with it. Here's the problem though that I, that I want the commissioners to understand and private entities to understand. You don't cascade up, you cascade down. And in that, when you talk about what currently exists, sometimes you can go up depending on what you initiate from the beginning. So if you initiate a rebuilding process that looks like hazardous waste, you can't go up from that. <laughs> Only place that you can go is down from that. All right? So, so, so as a result of that, <clears throat> you begin to set the tone for who will look at coming to your city, coming to your region to actually do business. And so the proposition behind that with this and the transparency, the lack of transparency uh, of thereof that I've seen is not good. And as a minister of the gospel and as a person who believes in a strong community, it's not something that is in the best interest for um, this community as it stands in terms of how they have presented themselves. Thank you. Anybody else? Is there not, Mrs. Lambert. Yes. 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 No. Yes. All right, moving right along. Next up is statements for the floor. Uh, this 